hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to do about the payment mode option in checkout page so guys we will create one combo box where we will change that option as a cash or a card okay and if it is selected cash means there will be no text box of the card number and if you select with the card option the text box will be popped up which will be the card number you have to insert over there so guys now let's get started so this is all static not any original payment so it's just static for a demo purpose for the college student guys so guys let's begin so first select with the uh, combo box click drag and let's copy on label and make this label name where is label text over here you are going to type payment mode enter and this font size 13 payment mode and now guys we will edit this edit item so first one option will be cash second option will be card okay let's give okay save and now guys once you run this you you will get two option cash and card so when you select with the card card that time your text box should open that is card number so guys let's copy this label once again and paste over here let's rename this go to its property take out this tell card detail and one simple text box for the card number so let's add text box click drag save this and this text box name we will give go to its name so text box one instead of text box one you are going to tell card number box okay so card number box will be and this is this label name will give label okay card label and card number text box so these two labels are done and now guys let's save now double click on your checkout form so once you when the page is loaded that time these two label and one text box should not be seen okay so double click on this form so you will get on your load underscore load page okay so my form name is checkout underscore load now when it loads over here that time what you have to do you need to give the code that should be hidden so first what we have to hide this label and the text box so this label name is nothing but card label so let's tell card label dot visible is equal to false make it to false so once it load the when you start this project that time it will be false means which will not be visible over there and the second option this text box so you can see card number box so let's tell card no box dot visible is equal to false make this also false now save and let's see guys what happens so let's start this project and just check with that okay it's asking for login gmail.com one two three four five six login okay now let's go to mobile where i want this quantity to buy now you can see that it's hidden we are on the checkout page guys now okay so when you select with this you can see cash or card so once you click on this card option that time your text box should appear once you select with the card option so guys let's start the coding for this also so let's close this stop your project and guys back to form with the combo box payment mode so double click on this combo box so here you can see combo box one 
so instead of this we will name this combo box remove this code and rename this give payment mode okay hit enter let's get back double click on this and you can see payment mode that is selected index now type over here in a if condition so if then else and if okay that's it so inside this we need to select the name so what is that name payment mode dot selected selected item dot to string whatever string is there inside that which will be it's a function so you need to give this function it's a two string function where is equal to the detail of the card c capital c a r d okay save and now guys once it is done then you need to show that so if this is selected as a card you need to show what you're going to show this label which you have hided label and the box make it to t r u a true and this also true done so if it is again selected as a cache then it should be hidden right so let's copy this and paste it over here that's it let's save save all and now let's test once again guys get back save and start the project login with that gmail dot com one two three four five six login okay mobile i am going to select with the one quantity where you can see now let's select the card option you can see that card detail and if we select cash that time this will be hidden cool so guys we have successfully done this thing cash or card option in our vb.net checkout page so guys um, let's continue in next video about placing the order so guys in this video that's it Please subscribe, like and share.